Hey everyone, Hydra Hut here. This is Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps, part one of the Dark Star Rising arc. This is uh, written by Vendetti. The art is by Ethan Van Skyver, which is a main reason, honestly the main reason I got this. I haven't been keeping up on the Green Lantern Corps. It's not that I don't like it. It's just I had enough on my list and I wasn't adding to it. But when I saw that Ethan was doing the uh, all the art on this, not just the cover, um, and the fact that it's a part one and it's a good jumping on point, I figured why not? Turns out it's good. I enjoyed it. Probably going to add it to the poll so I can keep checking it out. Uh, this cover is actually pretty pretty foretelling for what's going to happen in this, which is nice. Also, you get a lot of these reflective pictures, which is kind of turning into like Ethan's thing. Even though this cover isn't him, this is... Um, <sighs> Yo, I can't read that. There's somebody else, though. I'll tell you that much. We'll get to it. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and say I do recommend this. If um, if you like the Green Lantern style, the cosmic level um, stuff, then you'll like this. This is good. And it's a part one, so it's a good jumping on point. I have no idea what was going on before, but it all made sense to me. I all understood it. I liked it. <clears throat> so, uh, my review probably will spoil some things. And it did kind of make me realize that I might be a bad person because I agree with the bad guy in this. Um, not the Dark Stars, um, but the guy who ends up becoming the Dark Star. I really can see from his point of view. And I'm not supposed to. So we start off um, getting introduced to this Dark Star armor by this uh, group of guys that are sick and tired of the Green Lantern Corps. And what they've been doing. And they got this assembly line going of these these armors. So all this stuff has been designed with the Green Lantern Corps in mind. All to combat them, defeat them, be able to best them. Um, pretty cool opening dual cover. I'm liking it. Again, Robert Van Vendetti is the writer. Artist is Ethan Van Skyver. Colors is Jason Wright. Letters Dave Sharp. They did a good job. Also, pretty cool title, title thing for Dawn Break. <clears throat> so basically, what they say is that they uh, these are going to be better than the Green Lanterns, and they're going to be fully obedient to them, um, so they don't have to worry about anybody ever betraying them or, or anything like that. We then jump over to the Green Lantern Corps. We get to meet some characters that we may or may not be familiar with. Uh, we get some banner between the boys, which is cool. Sets us up for what's in store. Then uh, jump right over to the Science Cells Ultra Maximum Security Prison for the universe's worst criminals. <clears throat> and uh, this is where we meet a former Green Lantern. Um, Tomar 2, I'm pretty sure his name was. Um... Yeah, Tomar 2. Okay. So we meet a former Green Lantern, Tomar 2. A uh, current Green Lantern, Somar Le, is there talking to him. He was a hero to her people, uh, and she's just stunned that he's in prison, and she's trying to figure out why. And he tells her that it's because he murdered this guy in cold blood. And the reason he did that is because that guy was responsible for the death and murder of women, children, lots of his people. And all they were going to do was block him in prison forever where he could escape and do it again. And he wasn't willing to see that happen, so he murdered the guy. And she's like, she wants to hear him have remorse. And um, he basically just tells her, admits that what I did was wrong. And this is why I did it. And then Hal shows up, talks to her, uh, sends her off. We find out that she's only an 11-year-old girl in her people's age. <clears throat> and then he sends her off to do something. And that's when Hal starts talking to Tomar, too. And Hal's really looking to see if he feels guilty for it. And Tomar 2 basically just runs him down on Electra on why he doesn't feel guilty, why he'll do it again, and why he feels like he was absolutely in the right. And if he's just going to sit in prison for it, well, that's perfectly fine because he doesn't regret what he did. And sitting in prison has only confirmed for him that it was the only true form of justice. I get this. <laughs> if somebody kills somebody I love, I would want to kill them back not lock them up away where they can think about what they did. That's too kind. That's not the type of person I am. Um, as this conversation is happening, 
we get some flashbacks to the Dawnstar armor being produced and the, uh, the guys responsible for building it and they activate one of these suits. And the suit immediately turns on. Well, first of all, look at this art. Ethan Van Skyver is killing it and his colorist is just working wonders. Did a fantastic job. I love this. If for no other reason, the art is worth buying this comic for. So the suit immediately turns on these guys. <laughs> and uh, and then we find out that it... Oh, let's just see. It just keeps basically repeating. Darkstar 1 is searching for a suitable volunteer. Suitable volunteer located. And then we jump back to Tomar 2 and uh, Hal Jordan further discussing it. And that's when we're like, oh, oh, we know who it's going to be. And sure enough, the Darkstar suit pops in with Tomar 2. It's like... Ask him if he wants to uh, to join. And Tomar two. Well, here. Uh, do you want wish to enforce lethal justice with the Dark Stars? And Tomar two looks over at Hal Jordan, looks bad, and is just like, "Yep," <laughs> gets armored out. And then this is where we. Uh... Okay. So after getting fully armored, he shouts, I am right. And just blasts Hal Jordan away. Breaks free of his prison. And, uh... Basically, we're left with Hal Jordan uh, calling in the guys, telling them, giving them a quick rain down, rundown on what happens. And next time will be the hunt for Tomar 2. So, I really like this. I thought it was great. Um, I suggest you get it. And also... Apart from blasting Hal Jordan in the face, uh, Tomar 2 did nothing wrong. Hell Hydra, baby.